This is Twit. Once again, uh, Drupal has trouble. Um, the, the I'll start with the takeaway. I mean, like the most important thing I could say about this to any of our listeners who are responsible for, responsible for Drupal sites is you want to be absolutely sure that you get their email. Um, this time they released the news of a forthcoming critical release only the day before. So um, the announcement was fe- was on February 19th, which was, what was that, last Tuesday? Yeah, it was a week ago. Um, highly critical, 20 out of 25 uh, critical release. They said there will be a security release of 8.5.x and 8.6.x on February 20th. So like, the next day between 1 p.m. and 5 p.m. They said America slash New York. And then they gave the UTC 1800, 2200 to see this in your local time zone, refer to the Drupal core calendar. The risk on this is currently rated at 20 of 25 highly critical. Um, So, okay. So, so the point is that, uh, because of the fact that this is a, a PHP based content management system, it is ridiculously easy for bad guys to reverse engineer any change that they make. Um, but I'm kind of getting ahead of myself. So first of all, not all configurations are affected. Um, uh, they, that was their statement. <coughs> And they said reserve time on February 20th, meaning the next day from the the date of this release, during the release window to determine whether your sites are affected and in need of an immediate update. Mitigation information will be included in the advisory. And unfortunately, the mitigation information was wrong. Um, uh, And then they said contributed module security updates may also be required. Um, if you're running Drupal 7, no update is required, but you may need to update contributed modules if you are using an affected module. They said, we are unable to provide the list of those modules at this time. So, um, uh, oh, and that they wanted to make it clear because they figured this would generate a lot of concern. They said, neither the security team nor any other party is able to release any more information about this vulnerability until the announcement is made. So in other words, don't bug us. We're, we're making everybody wait. Because again, there's, the, the unfortunately, the way this is, the way the industry is developing is that we're, we are now seeing attacks pouncing on updates and turning them into, uh, well, attackers pouncing on updates and turning them into viable attacks with increased speed because they recognize there is some window of opportunity and the window, depending upon the environment, um, it could be open for years as we have seen, or it could be hours, minutes, days. So, um, anyway, so, uh, uh, Oh, so I, I was I was confused by my own notes because I said hopefully if you're running Drupal 8.5x or 8.6x, this is old news to you, meaning to our listeners, because you are on the mailing list, you did get the notice of this, and you made some time on Wednesday of last week, which was the 20th, in order to respond. Two days after Drupal's disclosure, two different sites published proof of concept code and the day after that using one of those proof of concepts as its foundation attacks against Drupal sites began. Um, Yesterday, Monday, Imperva Security summed up their observations for the preceding two days where they watched attacks against their customers whose networks they were monitoring as part of their service. They said latest Drupal 
remote code execution, and I should mention, yes, it is a remote code execution flaw, um, used by cryptocurrency miners and other attackers. Um, Imperva wrote, another remote code execution vulnerability has been revealed in Drupal. They wrote, the popular open source web content management system, one exploit still working at the time of this writing, has been used in dozens of unsuccessful attacks, they write, against their customers with an unknown number of attacks, some doubtless successful against other websites. Um, so there are two vulnerabilities, and there if we've talked about this before. It was a it was some it was a uh, some data in the queries that were not properly sanitized, which allow bad guys to essentially inject commands through the the open and exposed Drupal interface. Um, what Unfortunately, what Drupal said was that, um, and and these are um, REST modules which use HTTP protocol. So HTTP, we often talk about get and post, and there's also patch and put and delete and a few other less used verbs. Well, Drupal said that if you disabled put, patch, and post, then you were fine. It turns out that it, that the get request was able to perform this so that Drupal's mitigation ad advice was incorrect in this case. So um, what the bad guys do is all they have to do, and in fact, uh, from one of the reverse engineering sites, we know this is what they actually did, was they, they diffed as the as the jargon is, they made they looked at the difference between that uh, the pre and post patched source immediately spotted what it was that was changed and said, oh, and then went about designing an exploit, which is it's far easier because unfortunately we have a a as I said a PHP source based release. Rather than, for example, in the case of a Microsoft patch, it's some DLL, and it's necessary to to, to go in and and have you know much higher level of reverse engineering skills in order to figure out what it was that got changed. The compiler uh, that produces the DLL may also tend to rearrange things if it if it's set up to do so or chooses to or if it's got optimization turned on. So it can help to obscure what's going on. It's just much less easy to do that when, when you're patching source code uh, in PHP, which is ASCII, it's, it's text. And so you can run a, uh, a some software that finds the differences between uh, the various files uh, and, and easily uh, design an exploit around that. So that's what these guys did. They diffed six point or 8.6.9 and 8.6.10 and then designed an exploit. So, um, you know, Drupal has built a very nice system, but it does suffer from having, first of all, a large exposed attack surface. I mean, it sort of has to by design. That's what it's for. Um, and it's it, written in PHP, which uh, means that changes to it are easy to spot. So uh, anyway, as I said, the takeaway for our listeners is if you are responsible for Drupal, be very, very sure that you are subscribed to their email list because and that you take these notices uh, to heart. And they're now I mean, I remember the last um, advisory from them. What was it? Maybe three or four months ago, Leo. They they gave the industry like several weeks of notice. They said, you know, at at some point in the future, and they told told us when. But there was a large a larger window. I don't know. This is a zero why. day. That's the problem, right? It, it's already been in the wild. Well, it it it, it actually took three days from from okay, there. It's a three day. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, so so I so I, I'm a little curious to know why they were rushed this out. Maybe they were not sure that the that they had containment of the nature of the problem, and so they thought, okay, we just can't sit on this for uh, too long. Be, and so what that what that says is that you know this is not something where you you want to be lazy about even checking your inbox if you might be getting incoming mail from Drupal. If you have the ability to flag flag email to you for your um, emergency attention by the email's source, I would put Drupal on that list of of mail you want to see because right now they're only giving. Um, I mean, if this is an example, they're giving people 24 hours to get ready. And it's not like, oh, uh, yeah, we'll get around to updating this soon. I mean, you really need to do it quickly. So uh, so there's the first of our out in the wild problems. Yeah. And, Again, we'll, and we'll be updated. We are Drupal and I love Drupal, but we have professional uh, maintainers who are keeping an eye on it. This any open source project is going to have this problem, PHP or not. If you can read the source of the patch and compare it to the previous code, you'll be able to see it immediately. The only reason Microsoft doesn't is because they don't. They're not open. It's a binary right. blob, right? Right. Right. Uh, well, in fact, it's a little different because the the deliverable is PHP. Yeah, I mean, but you it could would do. Be, I if, think you do obfuscated PHP. I'm not sure, but I think just like with JavaScript, you know, yeah. you can you can obfuscate it. But yeah. it doesn't matter because the source it's open, and so the source yeah. is going to be somewhere. Yeah. I think so. Yeah, yeah. This is any I think any patch in open source has this problem. 